at four. A unique construction project is underway at the Southern Polytechnic State Campus in Marietta. The project might go a long way to solving the housing crisis in Haiti. Hundreds of thousands of people still are struggling to find a place to live and sleep following the earthquake that devastated the central part of the country. Channel 2's Ross Cavett shows us the unique construction materials being tested on campus that could create a housing boom in Haiti. We are building here today a, uh, a rubble house. Hundreds of miles away from Haiti, students at Southern Polytech are embarking on a construction project that could forever alter life in the country still recovering from the January 2010 earthquake. The main construction material is essentially the damage left behind. Uh, people were removing all of this rubble so they could rebuild. And uh, these folks had the idea of actually using the rubble to build these homes. Jeremy Holloman with Conscience International has been working on the project in Haiti. They've built 38 homes already. and says as many as three quarters of a million people still live in temporary housing. That still doesn't count the people that have now gotten frustrated and they're moved back to their damaged homes. And you'll, you'll see children sleeping next to a wall that is obviously structurally compromised uh, because of the lack of progress being made in the, the shelter area. The concept is simple but ingenious. They place the rubble in a metal basket up to eight feet tall, cover it with a concrete stucco, then put an A-frame roof on it, ending with a permanent house more structurally sound and the traditional cinder block buildings that collapsed in the earthquake. Uh, they will instead bend and, and give and allow people time to, to walk out and be safe, and we won't see this catastrophic loss of life in the, in the hundreds of thousands. We know it works. We want to see exactly how well it works, but we also want to improve it. Uh, this has implications far beyond Haiti. One of those working on the project is Megalon Charleston, a student studying civil engineering from Haiti. Um, it's kind of giving back to the community, and ultimately for me, my goal is to go back to Haiti and do something like this that they're doing down there. Amazing. That was Ross Cavett. Now, once the rubble house is built on campus, they will start a series of structural tests on it. School officials hope some engineering students can go to Haiti early next year to see the concept become reality. We will put more links about this project on our website, wsbtv.com.